Every morning at around 6.30, Mr. Lee prepares to drive to work. He notices that his car is covered with tiny droplets of water, although it did not rain the previous night. First of all, I would like to say Mr. Lee is lucky. 6.30, most of the time, I'm already like 5 minutes away from school. So, Mr. Lee must be very lucky to have that little bit more time to sleep. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Anyway, now every morning at around 6.30 a.m., Mr. Lee prepares to drive to work. He notices that his car is covered with tiny droplets of water, right? Although it did not rain the previous night. Okay, if uh, those of you who don't already know, that's what we call dew, D-E-W. Okay, dew is quite common. Uh, you know, especially if you live uh, away from the city, uh, a lot of dew in the morning, right? Because uh, there's lots of plants. Uh, that transpires, that gives away, that gives out a lot of water vapor at night, and uh, the air is usually saturated with water vapor, full of water vapor. And this water vapor uh, will find a colder place to a cooler place, cooler surface. Uh, it, when it touches a cooler surface, it will lose heat and it will condense. Okay, so what do we already know about uh, water vapor and stuff? Uh, and condensation, you know that condensation is when uh, warmer uh, water vapor touches a colder surface, right? When the water vapor touches the colder surface, right, the water vapor will lose heat and condense into water droplets, right? We know that water droplets is liquid. We know that water vapor is gas. All right, so, uh, so this is what must, ha what must uh, happen when there is condensation, there must be water vapor in the surrounding air and this water vapor must, t must uh, touch a colder surface. In this case, it's a, the car, the metallic, uh, the, the, the metallic body of the car. And then, uh, or it can also be the glass, it can also be the tires, as long as it's a colder surface. Uh, this colder surface will make the water vapor lose heat all right and and uh water vapor once the water vapor loses heat it will condense it will change state into water droplets okay so explain how the water droplets were formed you could just write that the surface of mr lee's car is cooler than the water vapor in the surrounding air the water vapor comes into contact with the cold metallic car surface or just Cold car surface, uh, okay, and condense to form water droplets. All right, so very basic question. Uh, in fact, all of the questions we're going through right now are basic questions. So if you don't know this, it is very important that you now uh, look through these answers, pause the videos if you have to, so that you can understand better, replay it. If you don't understand, all right. If you do, just listen to it again and uh, you know consider it as revision. Okay. Thank you.